Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay guys, so we're back to talk about more of the Raquel Levis drama. Rachel, whatever you want to call her. I sat there and I went through all of this with my pistachios and I was like, she said what? They said what? They did what? And now I want to talk about it. So welcome back to Up and Adam channel too with all the extra coverage. Now before we get into it, Make sure you smash that like button. Get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, like I said. Let's go. Okay, you guys, this one is an interesting one because it has something to do with Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant designer who denies dog, well, her dog, Graham, was aggressive. Hmm. Okay. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant designer shared more behind the story of Raquel Levis's dog drama with James Kennedy. Denied her claims that Graham was aggressive and addressed her accusation that Lisa used the dog as a storyline. On a recent episode of Vanderpump Rules, it was insinuated that Lisa returned Graham to James after rescuing him from a shelter after Raquel gave him up. But Raquel recently claimed that Graham was aggressively biting people. Okay, here is where it came up. Mm. We have two amazing dogs that we adopted through Vanderpump Dogs. It is made very clear that if for any reason you can no longer care for your dog, you can call the center and they will take the dog back, no questions asked. It seems you care only about yourself and what people would say, which is why you tried to give the dog away secretly. I'm sorry, but I'd never met Graham before, and I personally flew him out to hand him over to James, spending the entire day flying with him and also spending the night with him in my room. This is not an aggressive dog. He was scared, and I'm sure felt abandoned, probably for a long time under your supervision. When a dog doesn't feel love or security, they will lash out. You gave him up because he did not fit your lifestyle, end of story. And how dare you try to portray Lisa as a person who would use a dog for a storyline? Do you even know or understand what she has done for dogs? You need to stop and think before you continue down this road of trying to make everyone at fault for your shortcomings. Oh, Nicolene. Well, that was a lot, but I mean, also pretty fair in some senses. And by the way, when he said that he personally flew the dog down, I'd never met Graham before and I personally flew him out to hand him over to James, spending the entire day flying with him and spending the night with him in my room. I don't think that the handover actually happened at Vanderpump Dogs. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it happened in Lake Tahoe and something happened where they had to recreate that scene. But I could be wrong. And I've been wrong before. So, but I think that's how that went down. Now, back to it. Back to it. Thank you, Nicolene, because um, you're just out here spilling all the shit. I feel like him calling, I'm wondering how orchestrated this was. Like him calling this out, him taking Lisa's side. It kind of feels a little orchestrated. Let's switch it up. All right. Well, guys, I don't know if you saw this, but Kelly Dodd also slammed Kyle Richards' secrecy with Morgan Wade as annoying and suggests that there was a contrived storyline. Actually, before I get into that, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play a couple clips. Keep it to Vanderpump Rules for a second. Thank you to Shenanigans. There was an article that came out, which I know you saw, from The Sun, and they reported that the only reason you would have signed an interspousal transfer grant deed on this house is because you were either filing for bankruptcy or we were filing for divorce. So... 
Which is it? This is the problem with media, okay? And the sun, buddy, you guys are struggling for storylines as if, if this is the best you got. Because the reason being is California is a split community property state. A community property state. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but she already dealt with this before. And anybody in California that gets married, 50% of your assets are split. And then when we're talking about a property, same thing there. Sheena purchased this property with her money. I'm not going to turn around and say I'm entitled to that. So I signed the deed over to Sheena because it was her property. It's her finances. And uh, that's just the right thing to do. I think the same thing happened when we had a prenup. Like We're having an open conversation about property, who owns what, especially in California. I think it's an important conversation to have. If you don't have these conversations, case in point, Tom and Ariana. Yeah, <laughs> and, and they're not they even married. weren't married. So mm. yes, uh, no bankruptcy, no divorce, just respect. There was an article that came out, which I know you saw from the sun. Mm. Next, but not least. I saw a question that said, what do you make of Raquel saying that several cast members in production, including Ariana, knew about the affair prior to March 1st? Nobody knew, guys. If production knew, there would be more of their relationship 100%. on camera. That's Absolutely. it. That's all I have to say. That it's like He clears yeah. that one up. But also to suggest Ariana knew in like fall or December of like 2022 is not just entirely false, but it's also like a total contradiction to so many statements that Raquel has made over this past year. I saw a question that said, what do you... Mm. I mean... That's fair. I think that's fair. But wait, it doesn't stop there. Now back to the Kelly Dodd of it all. Because um, her and Rick went in. Apparently, Kelly's taken issue with Kyle Richard's storyline on the latest season of Beverly Hills. She's really annoying to me right now. I, I like her. I like her as an individual. But that whole thing is just, it's annoying to me, is what she told the son of Kyle on March 8th. It's like she's doing it for the cameras and... I find it atrocious because, really, her kids and her daughters, it's very hurtful to them. Now, during season 13, Kyle admitted that she would be open to dating a woman and said she was curious about kissing a woman after she and Morgan filmed the steamy scenes together for one of Morgan's songs. Just come out and say it. Don't lead everybody to think that you're a lesbian. Now, when asked if Kyle might be hesitant to speak the truth, Kelly said that she didn't think so. I don't think she really cares what people think of her because she's been on TV her whole life. She knows the ins and outs of what it entails. And I think that she is just annoying. That's all. Her and Dorit, it's like for the cameras, like it's contrived. But according to Kelly, she doesn't believe that Kyle and Mauricio, who have their daughters, will divorce because there's too much money between them. She said, I don't see them getting divorced because I think there's too much money at stake. Go have your separate lives but you don't want to divide everything. Also speaking to the outlet, Rick commented on his and Kelly's future, stating that while the two of them were supposed to appear in a show about homes, the deal didn't work out. I think Kelly has a reputation for being outrageous sometimes and doesn't hold back, and some people are nervous about that. That's what he explained, adding that a reality TV show might still be in their future and that, well, he's finalizing a contract for a new show. Continuing on, Rick spoke of his friendship with Louie, who was accused of recklessly spending Teresa's money in the Real Housewives of New Jersey trailer. And he said, I saw that trailer. And I actually talked to Louie about it. To me, it's just they need drama to get people to watch. So I think they try to drum things up. They try to stir things up. But basically, Louie said everything's fine and they're doing great. She makes a lot of money and so does he. So good for them. Oh, good for you guys. All right, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comment section. Smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. And uh, definitely let us know what you think. Love you guys. See you next time.